that day of practice was pretty rough for me. I mean, just seeing your best friend season, uh, the whole football season, like go to waste, especially when he's put so much work in and then potentially basketball season, um, it sucks. I mean, playing with him is like, he's one of the most athletic kids I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it's uh, it's definitely tough losing him, but um, I mean, just gotta keep playing for him and do everything we can for him. But just trying to stay up, stay with him. It's really sad. Cause that's like one of my best friends. When I saw it happen, I. I knew right away, like, it was a bad injury and stuff, and it's just terrible. Freak injury. I was not expecting that to happen, especially in a practice. I felt that I knew something was wrong, and I was punching the ground, swearing a little bit, but I didn't really feel it right away. What would you say about the year that you were having? Uh, I was looking forward to it. I wanted to see how I'd finish, but ended too soon. I mean, I feel like you were just scratching the surface of what you were going to do. Yeah, and that makes me mad. I was, having, I was having a lot of fun on offense. I like playing receiver. Yeah. I talked to a couple of people that they were like, he looks like a Division one college player out there. I, I felt the same. So, do you still want to play football after the injury? Yeah. Wildcat football! <laughs> Got somebody open deep. Lobo gonna run under it. He catches the ball. He puts it all the way. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Wildcat. And a beautiful ball by sophomore quarterback Mark Holler and the senior senior Connor Lovell. He's repping my number well. Big touchdown for the Wildcats on a beautiful throw by Mark Holler. 5 yard Mark touchdown pass. pass.
I'm definitely sad. It's weird. <laughs> it's been, you know, I was, I was just like starting to set in that it's like the end of everything. Like, I'll have college next year and stuff, but it's my last year of all like my hometown boys. It's honestly really hard to just like fathom the fact that I'm a senior. Like, I feel like freshman year was just last year. I feel like it's been going like pretty fast. Like. We, I have like six months left of school and then it's like done. Yeah, I'm not going to college, so it's kind of kind of like no more school. I'm kind of happy about it, but I'm also kind of like, I feel like I'm going to regret, regret being happy after this year. So I'm going to have like, go to work. At this point, it's really a bunch of different emotions. You know, September flew by for me. It's been crazy. It feels like legit just yesterday I was like getting ready to leave for band camp. Oh, I, lo I love fall, so, but this sucks, so I don't know if I can get all the fall experience in, but gotta make the most of it. I know it's gone a lot faster. Everyone was like, be careful, this is gonna go fast. And I'm like, yeah, okay. School goes by, it just drags. And it hasn't. Um, I am feeling the most comfortable I've felt as a senior yet, I think. Like, I was very stressed out at this beginning of the year, but I've kind of locked in a bit. Band's been less crazy. Um, I've been enjoying Soundscape, which I joined this year. I, I just, I'm, I've been in a good place lately. I'm feeling very good about my senior year right now. And yeah, I'm just, I'm ready for more, I think. I'm just thinking about wrestling season. I don't know. I love, I like, I, I like the football environment. I'm not a fan of the sport. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't, I only do football just to do football, but I don't really have this special spot, like spot in my, my heart for football. So the second, like, I felt like the cold weather, I was just like, oh, man, it's about to be wrestling season. And that's, that's like, when I really start getting excited, you know? Uh, I, like, it's still kind of weird. I just can't really believe it. It's, like, sad, but it still hasn't really hit that it's over. Like, I just, just it doesn't really feel real at senior nights and, like, two nights. But, yeah, like, I just remember senior night, like, my freshman year and thinking it was so far away. And now it's, like, two days away. I mean, I feel pretty, it's pretty exciting, honestly, because... I feel like uh, it's just the next step into the real world and like getting ready and stuff. So I'm pretty excited about it. And like, I, know, it's just, I think the senior year is probably gonna be pretty fun. Um, I think that I'm definitely excited to break out of like Wilmington. I've had so many good teachers. I've made so many friends, but I think college is just gonna be such a fun experience for me because I'm gonna meet so many new people. And like, I'm excited to get started on my future so that yeah uh, well, honestly i'm a little overwhelmed but i mean it's kind of cool it's it's cool like when you like i look back on on everything and just seeing like how i've grown to to get to this point and uh and even like what's you know what's going to happen after me so it's kind of cool to just look at my place and where i fit with everything um i mean it's just it's been a long season already i mean um i joined late and still it's just a lot of hard work and hours and put in. Um, but uh, it's just like, you're starting to settle in every every day more and more that it's like, I'm a senior, it's my last ride for everything, last school year, last sports seasons. Like, it's just, it's a, it's a lot to take in. It's kind of like good, I'm looking forward to, you know, graduating, moving on. But also, you know, I've been here since, what, I've, I've been born really. So it's been, it's kind of like bittersweet at this point. Um, I've still got a lot of high school left though. So I'm gonna make the most of it. Yeah, I feel like it's going by really fast and I'm excited, but I'm also like sad because like I know that it's going to just like be over and like there's no like redos or anything. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's super like bittersweet. Like, I don't know. It's bittersweet. When it hits me like during like random points, like during the day, I'm just like, wow, I'm a senior. Like. But I think it's going to be, like, really emotional, like, going through the last game. Because, like, the band is, like, pretty much my people. And, like, it's something I really love doing, so. I mean, I'm kind of excited. I feel like, yeah, I, just, I need to figure out what I want to do. Um, but, I mean, it's exciting to be able to, like, figure out what I'm going to, like, pursue and how I want to, what I want to do after school. So, it's definitely, like, 
I'm just trying to learn what I like, really. That's pretty much it. Awesome. That was great, man. I would say the weirdest thing for me is knowing how other people perceive me. You know, in my head, I'm still, like, in eighth grade. But people look at me and they see, like, like a 17-year-old, you know, like a senior in high school. And there's no one older than me in the halls at school. I'm, it's weird. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm ready for it. I think game days are like one of the best parts of being in band. We get in about an hour before the game starts. We have to get um, our uniforms on so that, you know, you get the pants, the jackets, the helmets. Sometimes we put the plumes in. And we're just in there. We're blasting music. We're just kind of getting hyped like, like, like I imagine the football team would. And then we warm up and we head outside behind the stands and we get in the block and we get ready. The lining up part is surprisingly one of the most difficult parts because no one wants to take initiative and like separate everyone into the rows and stuff. But we get that done. <laughs> we walk out onto the track, we do our lap, we have the percussion play the street beat. Which is a really big part of percussion because you're the only one playing and it's up to you. And then we get up in the stands and we're ready for the game. What's, what's the app? I honestly would say that I always say that the band is more hyped than the student section, which is controversial. But I think like we have more fun and it's like, I don't know, I think the vibes are better. Some of my favorite parts of game day is our stuff that isn't even musical. When we do roller coaster, when we do boom, stuff like that is like so much fun. Even when we're just like, when we have silence in the stands and me and other percussionists will just kind of be like playing on our rims, just like kind of messing around. Whenever the cheerleaders do cheers, we kind of like play the same rhythm that they're cheering with. And that kind of stuff's just so much fun. It's very like coordinated. It's very like, we know what we're doing. The drum majors like like me and Olivia, we'll, we'll throw a song up and they turn to it. And the next play we're, we're, we're up, horns up and we're playing the song. It's crazy. Percussion is going wild. We're just having a great time watching the game. And our drum majors are just calling out a bunch of tunes like NFL and Fox. And it's just really good. I think there's a lot of excitement. I'm with the low brass section and we, we really get into it. We're all watching the game while like doing our job as the band. So like when the football team, get, team gets a touchdown and we're like, school song, school song. And we start playing, we're all like, we're all hype with it. So it's a lot of fun. Obviously there's the halftime show. So we leave the, the stands early. We go down to pass the end zone and we warm up our instruments. We get ready. Then we march over to the places then we march onto the field, drum major turns us around, and halftime show. It can be a little stressful. It was definitely stressful my first year, knowing that like everyone was watching us, and Mr. Ferrari cares about us looking good, obviously. So he, he puts a lot of pressure on, like, make sure that you don't stand out. Make sure you're not moving while, while no one else is moving. And it's good, and we look great, but it's pressure. <laughs> It's so nice to like finally put all this like grueling work into something that people really like, that people get excited for, that people come to the games for.
So, Mary, how are you feeling tonight for senior night? I am actually so excited. The energy is through the roof on the cheer sideline, so I'm hoping the boys bring it. All right. So, uh, I know your brother Braden's commentating, so how do you think he's going to do tonight? I think he's going to do all right. I mean, he, he does good enough. Back to you guys. Who's going to be there with you on senior night? Uh, my mother's going to be there with me. My mother and... Kenny Brandley's Nana is gonna walk me out as well. My mom, she's she's like the most inspirational person I've ever met. She grew up in Syria, uh, like Syria is still to this day. It's like uh, there's like this stigmatism like towards like women and like their ability to go to school and everything. But she still managed to raise three kids without like proper education, and she just continues to just be like the most inspirational person I've ever met. So I'm really I'm really happy to have a mom like her. She just really focused on like raising me and my siblings. I mean, I, I really, I didn't have like a father figure, like a, a, a good father figure growing up. So my mom was always just there for me and my siblings. And I was, I'm just thankful for that. I can't, I don't think I could live without my mom and I don't think she could live without me, honestly. So we'll come out one by one and with your parents and sibling if you have them, so. So who's gonna go out with you? Uh, probably my mom and my dad. And I'll ask my brother if he wants to, but. We'll see. I, I hope he does. They've just, they've been the best. You know, my mom, like back, back in my sophomore year, when I was first going for drum major, I was kind of contemplating it. I didn't know if like, like I could do it or if I, if it was what I really wanted. And my mom was kind of just like the one who was like, I know that you've wanted this for since you were a freshman and I know you can do it. She was the one who convinced me to actually audition for it and I ended up getting it. And so they've all just like, They've been so supportive, like through band and all that, and they know how like how hard I work at it. So it's awesome. Um, my parents and my brother Chase. My parents are very supportive. I'm the oldest child, so it's very emotional for my parents, my mom specifically. Um, but yeah, they're really excited. My parents love that I'm a part of the band because my brother doesn't really like do the band or anything like that. So they think it's a great atmosphere in there. Just like it's really sad, but I. Yeah, it's exciting. I'll be walking out with my mom, my dad, my brother, and my sister. Um, and yeah, I don't know, they all mean a lot to me. Like, you know, me, my brother, and my sister, Nick and Jules, we've gotten like closer over the past like year especially. And now that my brother's away at college, it's more like special whenever we get to see him. Yeah, and I love my parents, so yeah, they all mean a lot to me. Um, my parents and my little brother, they're like my inspiration to like be good at everything in life. Cause like they come from a background where they struggle. So like, it's always my goal to work hard so I can be in a better place. Brayden Almas is gonna come out with me. Uh, my aunt, my brother, my girlfriend are gonna come out with me. Brayden, that's my dog. Like me and him got really close really fast too. Like when I first came here, he was like, he was the first person to talk to me. So me and him got, became really close. Sad that he left, but I still talk to him almost every day. Uh, my brother, that's like my best friend. Like he has always had my back with no matter what. Uh, and you know, I love him to death. My aunt, she's my number one supporter. She's always got my back. I love her. She's probably like the most important person to me. And my girlfriend's obviously, I love her. So a lot of, a lot of close people with me. My dad and my mom and my stepmom. What would you say about like them and their support? My dad's been like on me about football ever since I started, so really big. He's really big into football. He was he played at the high school. But I, I changed my number this year so I could have his number. So I just kind of want to have a good senior season. My mom and dad, um, both of my little siblings help out with the band. Uh, my little sibling Vivian is in color guard, so she'll be warming up with the rest of the color guard in the band. And my other little sibling is uh, in band crew, so um, they'll be helping bring out instruments for the football people. So I'll be with my mom and dad. I'm lucky to have such supportive parents who drive me to these places and support everything I want to do, all the activities that I'm invested in, help me when I need it. Um, I'm really lucky to have them. My brother probably won't come. He goes to school in Boston. My sister goes to school in New Jersey. So it would just be me and my mom and my dad. They they want to be, but I, they're really supportive. My parents, like, 
always really wanted me to play ever since I've been in high school because the kids I was friends with, like my brother's friends in the grade above, they all played. They were a little hesitant at first. My dad thought, well, my dad wanted me to play, but my mom thought like maybe I'd get injured before like my last basketball season and that wouldn't be good, but they're okay with it and they've been supporting. It will be my mom, dad, and my sister. I mean a lot. I mean, my parents have done everything since like before I could even drive. They drove me to all my sports. My dad has always been with me basketball. Uh, my mom helps with everything. Like she's always there for me and my sister too. Um, it's just like they do a lot for me and I'm really appreciative of them. My parents are going to go out with me. So my dad, Michael, and my mother, Elise, they're going to walk out with me. They've supported me through pretty much everything. Like since, since I started piano, they're like they just, they tell me to just do whatever I want to do. They've never forced me to do anything. And uh, I'm really, really fortunate for that. Yeah, no, they're, they're super important to me, really. They, they've supported me with everything I've ever done. And that's all I could ever ask for from them. A uh, whole family, we're going to have my parents, um, my youngest sister, Cora, and then also Molly, who is in the band and got interviewed here and was she said some interesting things, let's just say that. Um, but yeah, I'll have the whole immediate family out there with me. <laughs> I mean, I love my family and I love how weird we are. Like, that's my favorite part of my family is like, you really can just be yourself around them. And it's not that like, I can't be myself around my friends, but like, they see like a different side. They see a really weird side of me. Um, and I, uh, yeah, <laughs> you've seen me in my house, yeah. Um, and I just, I love them so much. They've. They really let me, like, I, I guess just be the weird, creative person that I am. And I'm very grateful for that because I feel like if I didn't grow up in that kind of household, I'd be really boring, so. <laughs> so I will be walking out with both of my parents, my mom and my dad, obviously. They've raised me. They've made me the person who I am today. Um, my brother is walking out with me, even though he told me he didn't want me to walk out with him last year, so I didn't. But, you know what, I'll let Brayden walk out with me. And I think my brother, and my, my other brother Jonathan, and my sister-in-law Brittany are going to walk out with me as well. I think Brayden, Jonathan, and Brittany have all been like just such like a core part of my life for these past few years. I can't... I feel like I can't even remember when Brittany wasn't there in a way. Like I remember her not being there, but like one day she just showed up and she hasn't left since and I'm not mad about it. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited. Tried to get my mom to let my baby cousin walk out with me and she said no. She wasn't carrying the baby around. Really? So <laughs> Brayden got to walk out with our other cousin last year, but you know what? I'll I'll take Jonathan and Brittany as a substitute for the baby. Probably just my parents. Maybe my little brother. He's also on the he's on the JV team. Well, my parents are just I mean they mean a lot to me. I mean they set good examples of just you know how I would want to be in, when I grow up. So it definitely means a lot to me. My little brother. It's been helpful. Like it's nice having someone to you know go to practice with and talk about well, what we do. So. That's always nice, and my other siblings too, they also mean a lot to me, so. It's definitely gonna be my mom. My mom's number one, and then I texted her today to ask, uh, it'll be my brother and my sister, so it'll be us four out there. They mean everything to me. I mean, we've been through so much together, all four, or all four of us, yeah. Um, you know, we, with for COVID, I was stuck with them, the three, the entire time. Um, so we had our ups and downs there, but um, more ups, I'd like to say, COVID was actually not that bad when we weren't sick. They really mean a lot to me. They've helped me through so much. They've supported me so much this year in particular, just with like all the senior stuff. They've helped me a lot. Um, they're definitely supportive of everything I do, you know, band, everything in general, and I wouldn't really be here without them. So for senior night, you guys still go out there on the field? Mm-hmm. Who's gonna go out with you? Parents. Well, they mean a lot. They do so much for me, and then like now, I really know how much they do. And they're doing a lot extra now. So I can't get up all the time. My dad just showed up actually. Just walked in. Um, it brings me my food. <laughs> what's been your go-to since, since you got hurt? Do you have any go-to meals? Mm, whatever they make.
going now? Take the snap, handoff, no go, search the sprawl. It's got Gene wide open. The biggest play of the year for the Wildcats so far. That is correct. Cut the tension of the crowd with a knife, Jim. And it'll be hollering with Bellamy in the backfield. Gene's closest to me. Triple split out to the left. Brings it back to pass. Blitz is on. Marcus is about to get sacked. Breaks through. Rolls to his left. Throws the ball up for grabs. Wide open. 